your weather authority. Here is Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner. Got just a little bit of relief from the uh, triple digits today, thanks to some cloud cover, but uh, tomorrow not expecting as much cloud cover as we had today. Heat advisory has been extended through Friday evening. The weather basically is on repeat for about the next week, but I am tracking two systems in the tropics. We'll cover that for you in a moment. Here's the heat advisory through 7 o'clock on Friday evening. Brady, Coleman, Eden, Paint Rock, Ballinger, Winters, San Angelo, Bront, Robert Lee, Sterling City, Mertzen, all included in that heat advisory. That just means hot temperatures, higher humidity levels, heat-related illnesses are more of a possibility. These are the current temperatures around the region. Only Robert Lee showing 100 degrees today. Yeah, this is hot, but it's not uh, as hot as what we have been uh, seeing in the last several days. But the humidity is playing a uh, playing a role here. This is what it actually feels like outside. So even though the temperature may not be 100, um, it feels certainly like 102 or 103 in many areas communities. And then these are the temperatures around the state. Waco is at uh, 100 degrees right now. That's the only triple digit showing up, though Wichita Falls and Midland both very close at 99, as well as San Antonio. So here's that persistent cloud cover. It's been kind of in a narrow band between San Angelo, El Dorado, and Sonora today, just sort of lingering out there. Eastern Concho Valley with more sunshine, Western Concho Valley with more sunshine. And over towards Bryan College Station, big thunderstorms going on right now. Those are headed to the southwest. And then farther west, we have showers and numerous showers and thunderstorms, monsoonal type flow moving through New Mexico this afternoon. The drought monitor is released every Thursday and today is the day less of Texas in a drought except of course here in our area and more of the Concho Valley has uh, been included in a severe drought level three now parts of Tom Green southeastern area northwestern Schleicher, northeastern Crockett County. So this is new here. This moderate tan color has expanded some. More counties now involved in it. So eastern, northeastern Concho Valley doing okay. The rest of the area though, drought is spreading. Out here in the Southern Caribbean, we have Invest 94L, a low pressure area right now, 30% chance of it forming into something. And by this weekend, could be moving towards Mexico. This system could provide some showers for the lower Texas coast. Movement of the storm, west at 15, winds are at 30 miles an hour. The one we have to watch is this guy way out in the Atlantic. This is Invest 95L. Winds in this low pressure area also 30 miles per hour. Storm tracking west at 15. Expected over the next week to 10 days to perhaps approach the Gulf of Mexico. Still plenty of time to watch this system, but it is a high uh, expectation of it forming into a named system. So the future cast shows these clouds will be with us for a while, but by tomorrow morning, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow afternoon, mostly clear skies. We should have hotter temperatures tomorrow than what we had today. As we get into Saturday morning, mostly clear, but by you know Saturday afternoon, we may have some more clouds working into the region. So your weather forecast for tonight, mostly clear skies and around 78 for a low temperature. Uh, south wind at about 10 miles per hour. 105 for tomorrow. The heat advisory through 7 o'clock. Southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And your seven day weather forecast. The heat is on. Breezy conditions. I'm bringing back the word breezy every afternoon, blowing around that 102 or 3 degree temperature. And we are one week away from the 4th of July.